All right, so I want to make a video about AQ3D today because the Ashfall has came live on to the server. So the Ashfall event is live. If you want to play it, it's available. You can go play it. This video is not about that. Let's get into the video. Alright, so it's been like a month since the last time they put content in this game, I think. Friday the 13th was the last time they put any content in the game, that's the last time I logged in, and it was pretty jarring when I logged back in because I installed a new graphics card on my computer and my NVIDIA control panel settings were not saved, so I noticed a lot, a lot of missing anti-aliasing and texture filtering that I was used to in the game. So this video will show you how to add anti-aliasing and texture filtering to Adventure Quest 3D because it is not in your options menu for some reason, even though I'm pretty sure at, this runs in the Unity engine, I'm pretty sure that'd be an easy setting to apply to the settings menu, but it's not in there, so I'm gonna show you how to add it for AQ 3D. Let's go. First step is go to your desktop, right click, go to your NVIDIA control panel. If you have an AMD graphics card in your computer, it'll be similar to this, but this is mostly for NVIDIA graphics card, this tutorial. Um, now you're gonna, gonna wanna go to Manage 3D Settings, Program Settings, Add Program, Browse. Now you're gonna wanna find your file location of AQ3D. So mine is in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, AQ3D. Uh, so that's where it is. You click on the thing, hit Open, or the executable file, not thing. Now, here are the settings that you can change. So you can change all this stuff. Uh, anisotropic filtering. So this is texture filtering. It uh, filters the textures to make them look better, I guess. So we're gonna wanna add 16 times there. So you might wanna not put 16 times and maybe just do like four times, depending on what graphics card you have. For anti-aliasing, we're gonna turn that on. That'll make the game look a lot better. Gamma correction, we're gonna turn that on. Anti-aliasing mode, we're going to enhance no, we're not going to enhance, we're going to override. Actually, you can you can test both of these and see which one runs better in your computer. Uh, but for, for this tutorial, I'm going to override with 8 times anti-aliasing. Now, that's a little obsessive. You probably want to go with 2 or 4 times. Uh, 2 is probably the most... Uh, that's what most people use is 2 times. For transparency, we're going to go on to multi-sample. So we're just making sure it's using the right GPU there, my GTX 1070. Uh, for pre-render frames, you don't need to touch that. For multi-frame sampled AA, you can turn that on if you want to. It might hit your performance pretty hard though, so yeah, leaving that off would probably be better. We're going to allow that. We're going to turn texture filtering, uh, sample optimization on. Shader cache, that's already on. We're going to put this for prefer maximum performance. Now for texture filter and quality, we're gonna to wanna to put this on high quality. Of course, you might wanna not put it on high quality, maybe just quality. Or if you are if you want more frames per second, you can actually put it on performance or high performance and you'll actually get better frames per second than uh, the game by default. Threat optimization, we're gonna turn that on, of course. And the rest of the stuff really doesn't matter. Then you just click apply. It'll take a few seconds to load, of course, because it's applying the settings. And there, it is now done. So now you can go back into the game, hit play, online, it'll load back in. And you might be able to notice the difference. It's a very small difference, but it, once you have it installed and then once you change the settings and then you change it back, it's pretty noticeable. Like, you might not be able to see this video because it's a YouTube video and YouTube compresses stuff. But if you look at like the edges of items now, there's more anti-aliasing on the edges so it's looking a lot better in my opinion and it, it added filtering to the textures so that also looks quite a bit better i would like to see an officially supported uh anisotropic filtering slash uh anti-aliasing options in the game those would be great if they could uh implement those into the game but for now you can just manually do them in your nvidia control panel or I think AMD also would have settings similar to that. You'd probably want to, uh, Google would probably be your friend if you're going to go with an AMD. So that's the video. Hopefully this helped you out. 
Hopefully game's looking better now. I know I re it was really jarring to see it without the anti-aliasing and stuff when I first logged in. Uh, you can tell a lot when you look at uh, like really sharp objects like this where you see that there's a lot of lines in the object. Uh, it'll look a lot better with the anti-aliasing. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.